Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Till now, whatever the problems we have solved pertaining to cost of debentures, it was all irredeemable debentures. But now, from now, whatever we have, we are solving the problems, it is all redeemable debentures. That means, after certain period, you have to repay the amount, whatever you have received from the debentures. So, they would have given the time in years. So, for how many years you have issued the debentures, that details will be given in the question. So, let us take up a problem and find out how to find the cost of debentures. 20 years, 20% 20 debentures of a firm are sold at a rate of 180. The face value, means you can take it as actual value, is 200. Tax rate is 50%. Find cost of debentures. So, always first write down whatever they have given in the problem. So, for your ease, I have made it very simplified, I have simplified it. So, first I will write the particulars. So, we need for calculating the cost of debentures, when it is redeemable debentures, we require redeemable value. Okay, it is redeemable value means what is the value you have to pay after the debenture is redeemed means for example here in the question they have told that it is for 20 years after 20 years what is the amount you have to pay back to your debentures is known as redeemable value so in the formula that is denoted by rb so here the face value the actual value is redeemable value means after 20 years you have to pay 200 rupees after 20 years you need to pay 200 rupees next net proceeds means what is the amount you are raising from debentures now ega nevu debentures na issue madodra mulaka yena amount na raise martta idira adu net proceeds so sold at a rate of 180 and then you eshte sale martta idira 180 ge so that becomes your net proceeds net proceeds is 180 interest illi eshte debentures sell madidare annodana kottila so, interest rate itself will become the interest. So, 20. Next, tax. They have given it is 50%. So, you need to convert it into decimals. You will get 0 0.5. Number of years also they have given. That will be denoted by N. So, the value will be 20. So, here there is a different slight change in the formula. It is nothing but I. Whole uh, I in the bracket 1 minus T. That's 1 divided by n. Again in the bracket, redeemable value minus net proceeds. Whole divided by half into redeemable value plus net proceeds into 100. So, let us try to put the values. So, I it is, you can take a screenshot of this table. Take a screenshot of this table so that when I am putting the values, you will easily understand. So, I is 20. 1 as it is, t is 0 0.5, 1 minus, n is number of years, here number of years is 20, redeemable value is 200 and net proceeds is 180, again half into redeemable value plus net proceeds. So now let us try to solve this equation. So 1 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.5, 1 divided by 20 is 0 0.05. 200 minus 180 is 20 and again half is nothing but 0 0.5 and 200 plus 180 is 380. Again when we try to simplify it further, 20 into 0 0.5 becomes 10 and 0 0.05 into 20 becomes 1 and 0 0.5 into 380 is 190. Now 10 plus 1 is 11, 11 divided by 180 into Sorry, 190 into 100. So, finally, 11 divided by 190 will be 0 0.057 into 100. So, when you multiply, you get the cost of debt that is 5.7%. So, this is how we need to solve this particular equation. Hope you have understood how to solve this particular equation. If you have any doubt in this redeemable value of cost of debt, you can put your doubts in the comment box so that I'll respond to your doubts as soon as possible. 
Thank you for watching the video. I'll come back with the next video as soon as possible.